So, starting off with the theme, as always, the Paladin's theme is the Warrior of the Light. So you are imbued by the powers of the light, which is like a extraterrestrial being in the Warcraft universe, and the light gives you the powers and ability to vanquish evil. You're going to be decked out in heavy metal armor, and you're going to have a massive shield and then a bludgeoning weapon or a sword of some variety. As you hurl your shield out like Captain America, it's going to bounce across targets and return to you, and you're going to then vanquish those foes with your smites and your judgments, while aiding your allies with your blessings and protection. So what are paladins good at? Well... Beyond any other tanks, their healing ability is extraordinary. They're able to both heal themselves and other raid members at a very high level. All other tanks are really only able to heal themselves, and the amount of healing that can be brought by a paladin is massive. They're also very good at interrupting targets, so their shield throw as well as their rebuke are both very good at interrupting. You can feel like you can really lock down a target's ability to cast spells with a paladin. They're also one of the blocking tanks, so they're able to block incoming damage very effectively. They can block massive amounts of physical damage, and their HP reduction per hit is very easy to heal through because it is a very linear scale. Paladins bring four unique auras to the raid or group. The Crusader Aura, Devotion Aura, Retribution Aura, and Concentration Aura. You're going to be able to choose which aura you want for your given circumstance at the time, but for the most part, you're probably going to be sticking out with Devotion Aura. A neat trick you can do is if you notice somebody's guaranteed to about to die, you can swap quickly to Retribution Aura, let them die, which gives you wings, and then swap back to Devotion Aura. That's kind of a high-end skill to have. Now for what makes them fun, they are the only class that can mount in combat with a short duration riding of your steed, which just feels awesome. Throwing the Avenger's shield is very rewarding. It is like a very Captain America feel. You hurl at your shield and it bounces across targets and returns to you. It just feels really good. Uh, there is a massive amount of cooldowns that you have that feel really good. You can blind targets. You can shoot out AoE uh, Avenger shields. There's lay on hands. Lots of things that just feel rewarding and look good. You see a target that's about to die and you slap it with lay on hands and they're suddenly full health. You really feel like you made a difference in that fight, you know, you saved the day. And it's very hard to feel that level of reward on other tanks. So the most rewarding feel is what you're getting from a Paladin. Paladins have a special unique resource system that is Holy Power. Your Judgment and your Hammer are both going to increase your Holy Power up to 5. And then you're going to use your Holy Power on abilities like Word of Glory or Shield of Righteousness to gain benefits. Word of Glory is your self or ally heal, and Shield of the Righteousness is going to give you a big armor boost and do AoE damage to targets in front of you. The rotation of the Paladin is a bit of a uh, balancing act, especially when you take the talent of Dusk and Dawn, which I highly recommend. Taking this talent is going to make it so that you do a system of getting five Holy Power, Dumping down to zero, building up to five, dumping down to zero. And what you're going to be doing there is you're going to be balancing between Dusk Form and Dawn Form. These two forms are going to give you pretty big combat bonuses, reducing damage you take by a lot, as well as increasing the damage you deal significantly. So being able to manage this as both buffs last about 20 seconds and you need to be able to maintain both of them. It is an interesting playstyle that does feel pretty good when you get into it. You can feel like you're having a notable rotation that you can expect and you are getting good benefit from that rotation overall they're very simple in their normal rotation there's really just four spells you got your hammer you got your shield of righteousness you got your judgment and you're throwing your avenger shield with the occasional word of glory whenever it pops up as free what's interesting is their cooldowns because they do have a lot of them with avenging wrath argent defender divine toll Eye of Tear, Divine Protection, Lay on Hands. Uh, you've got a large array of abilities that you can access to change how the fight is going at this any given time. As well as what you can give out to allies, which is your blessings. Blessing of Protection, Blessing of Sacrifice, Blessing of Freedom. 
so those can go out and help out your allies so there is a lot of tools in your kit but your actual rotation is pretty simple which is different from a couple of other classes where you're worried about a few too many button presses to really feel rewarded when looking at the talents for the paladin it actually feels really good and i think this is a sense with the paladin all three specs have a very similar kind of ideal or focus and it's the warrior of the light right whether it be healing tanking or damage it all feels similar and this is a really great way to have a multi-class kind or multi-job kind of spec uh, so the Paladin tree feels really good. It's really rewarding. Getting things like Avenging Wrath and your Steed are just great for all of them. Uh, and then putting the Blessings over here and figuring out which Blessings you want to give out are also just really rewarding. Down at the bottom, it gets a little bit more uh, focused down with Of Dusk and Dawn. As I was saying this, I would highly recommend picking this up. It's very good for tanking. Uh, it's less good for the others, although it's still pretty good because you can get that 5% increased damage and 4% reduced damage taken. It's just a really nice talent and goes quite well. Also, going over to your attacks have a chance to uh, target to take 6% increased holy damage. That's just an awesome thing with the Seal of the Crusader, as well as getting your Hammer of Wrath and Judgment to deal increased damage and extend the duration of Avenging Wrath. That means as you shoot out more Hammer of Wrath and Judgments, the duration of your wings lasts longer, and that just feels really good. Uh, it's kind of odd that this is here when Avenging Wrath is optional her earlier up in the tree and isn't required to get to this point where this is very focused on that. I don't 100% agree with. I wish this one was kind of straight down from Avenging Wrath and there were some requirements, but that's just my own personal preference there. Overall, when playing the Paladin in this sense, try and focus on... As leveling up, you want to focus on doing AoE damage. So over here, I'm getting a bunch of the increases to my judgment or my consecration, as well as making sure I can interrupt targets. And then on the Paladin side, I'm doing things like making sure my Avenger shield bounces more times. I can blast everybody around me with reduced damage dealt to me. I can shoot out Divine Toll, which just hurls out AoE shields. I can make it just keep hurling out AoE shields. So you're really wanting to just do that AoE damage as you're leveling up, as you're in dungeons and mythic pluses. This is kind of the focus. When you go over to raid, there's a couple of changes. You switch things over to really be single target focused and a little bit more about the healing you receive or you give to others as well as reducing the damage you take for yourself. There's also a lot of good going on in this spec for switching up your focus as you want to go to mythic plus or raid or things like that uh, changes happen throughout your tree that feel good right you can go over to moment of glory and make it so that you're when you're hurling out shields you get a bunch of rewards which is awesome for that mythic plus style of play uh, you're going to get a bunch of talents unfortunately i feel like the paladin side doesn't have enough points in it uh total where you pretty much get you get dusk of dawn you get to grab Seraphim or Sanctify Wrath, you get to grab Zealot's Paragon and Seal the Crusader. Like, there's a little bit too much in the bottom of the tree that you successfully get. Like, I don't have to make a lot of hard choices. Really, the only choice that I'm making is not taking Seal of the Order and instead taking Zealot's Paragon or taking Sanctified Wrath or Seraphim. Like, that's the only decision at the bottom of the tree that's impactful. And that doesn't feel great. I would rather there be a little bit more options spread out there. And then on the Paladin side, it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to probably get Bulwark of the Righteous Fury. I'm not going to go take Moment of Glory in raids or in the kind of content that I enjoy. But if I were doing Mythic Plus, I would swap that over and not take uh, certain talents to make sure I grab Moment of Glory because, again, it's rewarding. But there's not that many decisions throughout the tree that you have to make. There's a lot at, at the very bottom of the tree. Throughout the middle of the tree, there are some interesting choices. You got the PvP talents, you've got cleanse removal and things like that. So it does feel good all throughout it. It's just there's a couple of things in it that's like I'm getting a little bit too much out of the total options. And I would like there to be more decisions that need to be made as well as more impactful decisions. The best part about the Paladin is just how well it fits to the fantasy that you're looking for. As well as just how much utility and great skills that this class brings to the table. It's just very rewarding to play. I really hope this guide helped you figure out if Paladin is the tank for you. And if it's not, I hope you'll check out our other Is This Tank For You videos to figure out what tank you want to play in Dragonflight.